How much should I post on family? How much should I post on business? How much should I post on health? That's a question that many of you have. Here's the answer. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Steve Holbrook. Today we're talking about how to build your brand on Instagram. You guys, you've been asking me this question for the last five, six months relentlessly and I apologize to many of you. I have not had the time to get back to you. Uh, lots of people DMing me, lots of people emailing me. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go make a YouTube video about it and I can blast it out so that all of you could enjoy it and you can hopefully get value from it. And again, if you do, make sure to share it. All right, let's talk about how to build your brand on Instagram. First of all, let's talk about what that means. Your brand on Instagram should be something that I can go and I can check out your profile and I should be able to learn a little bit about who you are, what you do, your values, how you operate, your energy, things like that. It's not gonna tell me everything about you, but overall, I should get an impression of who you are as a person, what you represent, and what you believe in. That's what we're talking about today. That's the question that so many of you have been asking me that we're gonna answer here today. Number one, you need to find your message. Like, what's your message? What's your message? I think so many people that are trying to build their brand on Instagram, one of the biggest things that they struggle with that I notice is that they don't have a message. Like, is your message achieving success, right? Is it business? Is it family? Is it faith? What is it? What are you trying to take to the world? Because that's ultimately what your brand is gonna be wrapped in, is your message or your niche. Figure out what that is, identify it clearly before you get started. Number two, and I did this when I started, make a list of your primary beliefs and values. The reason you're gonna to wanna to do this is because if you can start in the very beginning with a list of all the values, all the beliefs, all the things you believe in, you're not gonna run out of content ideas. See, make a huge list. Like for me, I remember writing down things like working hard and personal development and preparation and, gra and living in gratitude and, and incorporating family and faith. You know, I had all these things that I wrote down. I think originally I wrote a list of over 100 things. 100 things that I believed, 100 things that were important values of mine so that for the next little bit, next six weeks or even for the next six months for some of you, Right, you're not searching for what should my message be. So make a list of all your primary beliefs, all your core values, make it in a big list, and then make sure that all of your posts are centered around those things. It keeps you on message. It keeps you on topic. Number three, plan out your content. Listen, I like to do my content in batches. I like to get down, get in the zone, right, bang out a few videos, things like that. But when you're thinking about how much should I post on family? How much should I post on business? How much should I post on health? That's a, that's a question that many of you have. Here's the answer. It's like baking a cake. You gotta decide what is your brand. For me, it's, 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 it's three part business to one part family, right? When you're baking a cake, it's certain part flour, certain part water, there's baking soda, there's ingredients that go into a cake. Well, there's content ingredients that go into your brand and you have to decide what percentage of your content should be family based, what percentage of your content should be business based. So what I did is for the first four to six weeks, if you guys are just getting started building your brand, here's what I'd recommend doing too. For the first four to six weeks, actually write out your content, like three business posts to one family post, three business posts to one health post. Write it all out for the first four to six weeks. Plan each week based on that ratio. After four to six weeks, you know what I realized? Is that I, 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 I got the hang of it. And I would rather just go with my gut after that, but I had a pretty good idea of, oh, I need to post a bit more about the business, or it's been a while since a family post. But in the beginning, I treated it literally like a cake. I wrote it out like ingredients. I planned four to six weeks in advance. It's a great way to start building your brand to make sure that you stay on message on Instagram. Number four, identify what your target audience is. You need to identify what, who, who and what your target audience is, right? Are you targeting 25 year old males? Are you targeting 35 year old women? And then you have to ask yourself, does my message resonate with those people, right? Based on my primary core values and beliefs, right? Based on my content strategy and the people that I want to target, right? Is my message relevant? Is my message going to reach those people? And as you get older, like what I found is as I get older, my audience changes. Right, so the target audience might change as you get older or as your strategy changes, maybe your product or service changes. So you need to identify clearly who's your exact target audience. 
and write it down. It's all part of your strategy. It's all part of building your brand. Number five, engage with your followers. You need to embrace the feedback. You should be asking your followers what content they want to hear more of from you. Let them tell you where you're needed. Let them help you with ideas on how to create new content. That's exactly what I'm doing here today because I've been engaging with my followers, right? Many of you, we've been reaching out back and forth and a lot of you, you know, have asked me to film this type of content and that's why we're here today. But get into the community, right? Get to know your neighbors. One of the things I'm most proud of is that within my community on Instagram, I have people that are constantly interacting with each other on my posts. So there's people that are getting to know each other. I've created this community, this brand community around Holbrook's world, right? Go follow me on Instagram at Holbrook's world, right? I've created this community where people can come and they comment on my posts and, and they can relate to each other and they're, they're giving feedback to each other. And that's really what you want to do. So you have to make sure that you're constantly engaging with your, with your followers, right? Every time someone leaves a comment, you need to make sure you engage them on that comment and maybe even ask them a follow-up question, right? Maybe thank them for their comment and ask them a question on, on how they would handle a certain situation and get their feedback. Now, all that stuff helps me, right, figure out what I need to do to help build my brand. Number six, the last point, post regularly. Look, the world isn't coming to you. You have to go and introduce yourself to the world. If you're not posting, if you're not making an effort, if you're not consistent with posting regularly, you're basically telling the world that you're not serious about building your brand. You're not serious about Instagram. You're not serious about scaling whatever it is that you're trying to scale. So you have to make sure that you're consistent because if you can't be consistent, you're never going to build your brand. So consistency is everything and it's really the bow that wraps around the first five points that I made today. So I appreciate you guys' time. I hope you guys got some value out of that. I hope there's some things there that you can start to implement immediately to help you build your brand on Instagram. And hey guys, please leave a comment. Please like it, share it, give it some love. And I will continue to make videos like this in the near future. I appreciate your time. Have an awesome day.